Hey there. If you have watched my previous videos, you would know about Hive blockchain. Today we will talk about how to write or edit an article or a post on Hive blockchain. So, you know about essency.com or peakd.com or Hive blog they all are just user interfaces for the same blockchain so there is no difference which one you use they will all end up on the same blockchain when you are on the home page of any of these websites you have to click edit icon or create post icon they all have the same icon for creating a post next you have to decide where you want to post this article or your post if you click this drop down you will have all the communities that you are a member of you select one of those and this is where you type the title of your article this is where you type the content of your article here you add the tags you have to type the tag and press enter and it will add the tags to your post if you click advanced there are a bunch of options this is a reward setting this is basically asking you what in what terms do you want to receive your reward would you like like to receive a 50% high power and 50% of high back dollars so it's up to you if you want to save some money you can choose 50/50 and it will start saving you some high back dollars and 50% of the rewards will go to your high power this set beneficiaries feature would actually donate some of your earnings to a beneficiary and this will add a beneficiary of this post click done you can schedule your post and if you select this reblog feature this will not only post in your community that you have chosen here but also on your own blog now there is a difference there is a main blog that you own and there is a community so whenever you post in the community the post does not appear in your blog to have a post appear on your blog and as well as the community you have to select reblog so that the post appears on both places to have more visibility inside the community and outside the community to your followers actually we'll go back to the same settings this preview so whatever we type here we'll see the preview here the one thing about this editor is that hive blockchain uses markdown editors uh, in markdown there is a different type of notation for everything for example if you want to make something bold you would use two stars in the start and end of the word and it will be bold like this alternatively if you're using a nice editor like essency or pd you can choose this from here sometimes there is a space between these and the bolding does not work because there shouldn't be any space between these closings and startings so most of the features are here if you want to make something italic or a heading uh, of the title you can choose to make it you can add three hashes two hashes or one hashes depending on what size of heading you want alternatively you can choose a greater than sign to write a quote or you can use this icon and for grids and tables 
you have to use this kind of notation like if i want to add more columns or more rows all i have to do is paste more and if i want to add more columns all i want to do is add one more column on each row to add a picture or an image to your post all you have to do is copy the image from any source from internet or your desktop just like i'll copy this image go to your post right click and paste you can change this this will add a link at the bottom of the image as a source of this picture because we have to mention the source similarly on peak d we have the similar set of features and then some uh, you will see some different uh, icons you can also add a short description about your post here you can add tags here in the topic section and you can click advanced and you'll see all the features that are available in advanced uh, you can select a different author for your post for example if you're writing this post for someone you can mention a different author other than yourself uh, and similarly you can choose the rewards uh, you can add beneficiaries in the same way and you can choose to show this in your own blog or portfolio or not and if you have multiple images So now we have multiple images. So this will give us an option of choosing the cover picture, which will appear as the cover of this post. So this is a cool feature. Similarly, on hive.blog, if you create a post, you will see this is a more basic version of the editor. One nice feature about this editor and all these websites is that if you do not finish writing your post and you want to come back later, you can save it as a draft or simply you can just go back or somewhere. And then if you come back to the editor, you will see the same post as drafted automatically. Another feature you will see for editors is snippets or templates. So if you go to snippets, you can actually create some snippets that you would like to add in your articles easily every time you want. For example, I have this one snippet created so I can add it anytime it will automatically add this whole thing because I have a template for it. In Peak D, you will have the similar set of tools. You can create a template and you can create a post with it.